Hello, I am Dr. Mary Jo Ruggieri. I'm a holistic health professional. Welcome to Staying Well with Dr. Mary Jo. The topic today is the science of energy, part one. There could be many parts to it. Energy is perpetual. You can't create it, you can't destroy it. As an energy practitioner and as an energy science teacher, I basically have come to understand the power of energy. Now, in my opinion and many others' opinion, the future of medicine lies in the understanding and the correlation of energy and the energy fields of the body in relationship to healing, to balance, to disease control. What I want to show you today is the fact that we really are an energetic system. I kind of compare it, as I always say, is to like an electrical plant. You know, we have energy as a source. What is energy? Electrical energy, chemical energy, we have metabolism, that's an energy when we metabolize food to create calories, which is energy. But the whole essence of the, our system is the root of everything who we are starts at a vibrational le level. We're all atoms. And make it simple, when you have energy, you turn a light switch on. How does that all happen? Well, you have to have a source. There's some source of energy that could come from your power plant. That could come from any other source. Wind, it can come from electric water sources. But nevertheless, you have to have a source. Now, energy has to step down because you can't go plug your toaster into the you know, electric plant. So energy has a system of high frequency to low frequency. Energy, in essence, they, they, you can just look outside and see your big transformers and you can see the wires coming into your neighborhood. You can see those transformers moving to your house where they connect the wires and in your house you have all these circuit breakers. So there is a pattern, there is a system. So as you step energy down from high vibration to low vibration so we can use it. When it moves into your house and it's usable, you have circuit breakers. Now look at your circuit breaker box. All of the circuit breakers have some type of re relationship to something in your house. This circuit breaker will open up your garage door. This other circuit breaker will make sure your refrigerator is, is on. If your circuit breaker can do a couple things, it can be on or it can be too much. You know, if it gets overloaded, the system gets overloaded, you could create a fire. You could really be in trouble. If there's not enough energy or the circuits are broken, the circuit breaker will shut off. Now, it's fine if your circuit breaker shuts off in your area of your house with has your refrigerator or your stove goes off, you know that you have to fix, get your stove or your refrigerator fixed. You don't just take the food out and say, okay, I'll take the, the spoiled food out and then I'll put some more in. So you have a system. Now, what's so beautiful about this is that our body is the same thing. We start out with our whole source. Our source happens to be light. We are biophotonic. So we are not plugging ourselves in, but we have a source. Sunlight, light, that's why it's so important to have uh, light. That's why we're always looking at the problems with vitamin D that have create that from light source. And we're really having some difficulties with that. So we have the same thing. Now, the future of medicine, and what many people are saying, is in the medicine, the medical system, looking at the systems of the energy of the body. Do we have auras? You've heard of auras, you've heard of chakras. So what I'd like to do is to present you with some, some information, and as we go through this series of the science of energy, I want you to be able to understand it so that you can do things like meditate to calm your system down so if your circuit breakers are all shut off because you're overloaded and you have a lot of adrenal overload and you're fatigued and you're stressed guess what's going to happen eventually just like the refrigerator that they went out you if you just take the food out and put more food in without correcting the circuit breakers and correcting the problem the same thing with your body so we want people to really understand the value of really energy and the concepts of energy in our body and our healing. Meditation and stress management are a good thing. So listen to a couple of these things. Energy, like I said, is perpetual. Now, in every culture, 
And in every medical tradition before ours, healing was accomplished by moving energy. Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, where do you think homeopathy is, or herbal medicine, all based on the idea that let's try to figure out and how to keep your electrical system, your circuit breakers going, so your organs don't shut down or you're processing food properly. It's all about your energy. Candace Pert, who I love her book, Molecules of Emotion. Candace Pert says, Medicine of the future lies in the knowledge, the understanding of, and the appreciation of the energy systems of the body. You know, when we think about this, even when I teach medical students and I talk to them, they understand energy. What's an, M an EKG? And they say, well, an EKG shows us patterns. Patterns of what? Patterns of pulses. What's a pulse? Patterns of vibration. What's an MRI? You know, we're, what's, what's a CAT scan? We're moving slowly into nuclear medicine, into the vibrational medicine. Also, classical, for example, classical Chinese acupuncturists, they believed, and they still do, that channels of energy run through the body, and when these channels are blocked or out of balance, pain and disease can result. So what we're saying from the energy science is that you have to have the circuit breakers being dysfunctional first before the house burns down in essence. So why let it burn down? My view is that if you study energy, which we do, polarity therapy, Reiki, everything that's coming to be popular now, if you study energy and you understand the concepts of it, you can prevent the house from burning down if you see the lights flickering. Same thing in your body. If you're fatiguing, if you can't, you sleep too much, start seeing the warning signs. Work with an energy practitioner. They're, 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 the polarity practitioners are really good at identifying stress holding patterns and seeing in the body where you're not having enough energy or the circuit breakers have kicked off and then you have pain. Also, modern science has developed more than ad adequate measure, measurements to connect energy fields and the scientific knowledge. And I think that's an important thing for us to realize because Science is explaining the roles of energy fields in health and disease. This is huge and it's going to be huge. The reason is that we have now developed sensitive instruments. We do have the EKGs, the MRIs, and we have all of these instruments that can detect minute energy fields around the human body. Uh, we were involved in the, uh, our center, the Holistic Health Career Center, with many studies on energy and what happens when someone has an energy balancing and what we can use different tools to measure that. Each organ in the body, they have found, there are studies at Stanford around this, generates characteristically energy fields. So this is a, is a whole topic unto itself, but there's three variables. Number one, science has found that there are pulsating magnetic fields that jumpstart healing in a variety of soft and hard tissues. And energetic frequencies stimulate the growth of nerves, bones, skin, capillaries, and ligaments. Uh, Jim Oshman wrote a very good book on the energy, the science of energy. So in essence, what we want to understand is that we are not just physical, just mental, or emotional. We start out with our own, you know, energy system. Just even from conception, you know, you look at the caduceus and you see the spine being formed in a, in a, in a baby. When you understand this, you can start to appreciate prevention and wellness. My whole take as a preventive and wellness practitioner is let's prevent it before it becomes a physical manifestation. So stay tuned for more on the science of energy. Thank you.